Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome to the podcast. Oh, it's God. your boy, Santa Slasher, and not anything else. And I'm joined today with uh, Memorial 101 Day. I, I was going to go grab food, but okay, here we go. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> you grab food, you're going to eat into the mic? Yeah, exactly. How disrespectful. I mean, the the title's pretty, you know, pretty much there. Don't watch this. Okay, then. Listen what, to it, duh. I mean, can't we just stop? <laughs> no, no, we've already started. So uh, this, this, this uh, week, um, uh, we, we, we did uh, Kerbal Space Program in the uh, um, Limbo, and that that, and we did some Kingdom Hearts, and that that's been my my week so far. What what what's been going on with your week? Wait, you didn't do anything else besides that? Yeah, that's all <laughs> I did, and then I just sat there and did nothing. Um, I went to a, oh man, I went to a workers union meeting with my sister because she was like, oh, you need, there needs to be more power for this or more people. At least that's what her coworkers told her. And then I sat there and it was two hours of things that I don't understand. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, I came out and then I ate food. That was my Saturday. Um, what else did I do? I played... I've been playing the Silver Case some more. The uh, the sequel I talked about, the twenty fifth board. Yeah, we're at the we're at the painful part here. There is a true ending, right? But you have to do a hundred different endings first. That's which dumb. is basically that's too much. Just select an option, and then there's some text, and then that's the ending. So we're gonna grind that out. Apparently, that takes ten hours. <laughs> That seems like way too much, man. How yeah, you? but you know me. You know me, the the powerful boy. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, and then I've uh, under Brightheart's uh, ask, and also for the benefit. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but my Switch. Uh, my sister has online. I don't. So for Smash, the characters don't transfer over. Right. So, like, every 10 minutes or so, I boot up Smash and then just unlock a character. I'm actually more than halfway through. Okay. But, I mean, slowly. for online play, it'll help out, so. Slowly going through the world of light? No, I, I I just boot up the game, and then I play a single match with one stock, and then that unlocks a character. That easy. Mm-hmm. That easy. All right, then. I've been doing it since, uh, like, two days ago, so, like... So are you just more than never, half the cast is? Are you never going to play the World of Light? I, I'm I'm already doing it on my own profile though, so it would be stupid to go through it again, just <laughs> for that sake. Uh, all right. You know? Why? You, you, are you gonna stream it again? Or are you gonna stream yeah, through no, all? No. no. Oh, what, what are we trying to say here? <laughs> no, I just I don't know. Just... You fronting? No. You call me a coward? You call <laughs> yeah. me Yeah. Yes, I am. Congratulations. Then why aren't you, you doing it? <laughs> I already did it. Twice? Yeah. No, you didn't. <laughs> you didn't play through it twice. I, I did too. From the start to the end? Yeah. In what sense? What do you mean? Did you add, you didn't match me, right? <laughs> don't don't fool with me here. <laughs> you were starting to believe it though. Are, Not are, really, because you you don't have an interest in Smash. No, so it's you were, like, why would you, you were getting to again? you were getting to that point. You're like, oh, maybe he did, because you never know. I might maybe I would have played it with my brother or something. Sometimes we play video games, you know. Is your brother even real? Yeah. <laughs> Is my brother real? Are you asking Siri? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have Siri. I don't have Apple. I'm not a, you sure? I'm, I'm, I don't have the the Apple. Well, you know, besides that, uh, my week's not too, but next week, uh, this coming week, I have to do a, uh, you know, those fun old college orientation things. Yeah, you were telling me about that. You have to be there from, what, 7 a.m. to, like, 5 or something like that? P.m., yeah. It's gross. So, I'm bolstering. I'm getting ready. So, next week, you might not see a lot of streams. I don't know. I haven't decided if I'm going to just, you know, take the time to... 
Yeah, take the week you off. Know, prepare. <laughs> I might do my I might do one stream. That might be it. Either game dev or Mario Paint. Those are probably the best choices like that you could do. Those. Well, you, I like doing those. You could have a, f- a white mage Tuesday. No way, man. <laughs> <laughs> I do the Mario things on Tuesday because it doesn't say Mario Paint Monday. It just says Mario Painting with speed. Or the joy of Mario Paint. <laughs> <laughs> but but the white mage thing specifically says Wednesday. So, like, streaming on a Tuesday, that's crazy. But, I mean, if I did, then we'd be done with the game. So, <laughs> you know. Um, but, yeah, that's my week. I haven't really done anything interesting. Um, I did upload the... I did give you the highlight. Yeah, you did. You it was, talk it about. was actually received pretty well, I think. I think pe- people when you it. asked during the um, Roller Coaster Tycoon, no one actually answered. It was a good <laughs> No, they didn't. Highlight. <laughs> it was just funny. I'm just like, well, okay, I guess... Well, nobody watched it. You know, it's okay too. You guys don't have to watch um, everything. But I mean, um, I haven't been working on thumbnails for you, but I probably will get back into the flow of that because you, you you're probably sitting on some highlights yourself right now. Correct. Right? I will need hi- uh, thumbnails soon. Right. Well, yeah, our weeks have not been too like E three was really the the big week, I think. Yeah. So it was like the uh, you know the aftermath of okay, all those games were announced back into normal mode of not doing much. <laughs> well, now, now everybody's going to SGDQ, so. Oh, you want to go? No, not really. I don't even you know where it's at. Where is it at? It's in, uh, well, it has to be somewhere where Buster would reasonably get there, too. I think he flew I think. anywhere to get to SGDQ. Phil- Philadelphia? The Germany? <laughs> I don't know. Some will say it in, in the chat, probably. At some point. Um, yeah. But that that's that's it. What? Moving on. <laughs> no, I can talk about my week. Um, oh, I, well, okay. I, I played a concert on Friday, which is right. interesting. Um, I played at that's this why old, you were not this, streaming. This old folks' home. <laughs> uh, we, so we walk in, and uh, we set, start setting up, and I, I, I stop for a second, and I look right above me. Right. And there was probably a good 20 to 30 to maybe even 40 feet from where I was standing to the ceiling. And I know that doesn't so, sound too significant except for the fact that, like, I had my tuba and my tuba faces directly up. Right. So I sat down, <laughs> I played the first note, and everybody uh-huh. stopped and looked at me. I was like... <laughs> what was the note you played? Was it something sad? No, yes, a sad note. Like a... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sad note. You can't have a sad note. Yeah, you can. Does mm, sound happy to you? I mean... Thought so. It could. But that's paired it up could, with other it, notes. It made you laugh, so clearly it's making you happy. Okay. I, sure. <laughs> we'll go with that. Okay, go on. Um, um, what what songs did you play? Uh, we, we played some stuff from the B-52s. Right. <laughs> uh, we, we played... Did you go, are you ready to rock? <laughs> uh, no, no. That's not B-52s. B-52s no, is but... <laughs> Rock Lobster, man, and Love Shack. But, I mean... <laughs> We're in a rock and roll just band. Just ask old people. <laughs> Dude, they'd probably Whether be like... The they'd probably start jumping up and screaming yes. <laughs> They're ready to rock. Yeah. Um, we, we, well, why didn't you do it? We played like, I don't know, five or six musicals. It was like actually kind of awful. Because it was long? Yeah. I mean, they're like, you know, pieces from musicals. So it's like abridged versions of the whole entire score of a musical. Right. So they would just like drag on forever. <laughs> that sounds intensive. Yeah. How long was it overall, the concert? About two hours. Oh, okay. That's a that's a fair amount of it's, it's music. Pretty, it's pretty long uh, for a wind player, yeah. anyways. But I mean, it's not like you know, it's not something I couldn't have done before or anything like that. So what'd you get out of it? Like high fives, money? Yeah, yeah pretty power? much high fives. I mean, it was it's with the community <laughs> band that I play with, so. Oh, okay. So I don't, it's not in it for the money. The same one you did the memorial one, right? Correct. Right? Oh, okay, okay. The band gets, or the like, the uh, the organization itself gets paid, but 
it's a non for profit, so none of us make any money. Oh, okay, I see. But you're given to the given yeah. to the community with your sound. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um <laughs> I am fairly far in Final Fantasy X, I'd like to think, hopefully. I just I just I mean, got you, Bahamut. You did right. So uh it looks like I don't have too much more to go in that game, but uh, that's it, it, that game like just decides to be super hard, and then it's not hard anymore, and then it's super hard, and then not hard anymore. It's definitely a weird game, especially because it's like really linear. Well, and the Spirit Grid is super weird too because it it's not like a traditional leveling up system where you just kind of get a little bit of everything. You know, sometimes you'll get like a whole bunch of HP increases at this point, and then. Maybe you'll get a strength increase, and yeah. So <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of at the point now where I just I just want to beat it, and that's it. Did, are you? Did you enjoy it though, or is it kind of losing you? It's okay. The story's not my favorite story either, too. It's kind of all over the place. I think. But I think it should have centralized its religious themes. I think. Because uh, yeah, there's I mean, some that, strong. That's just the, the the thing is like it's just all over the place with how they, they they had an idea and then it just kind of went a little all over the place all of a sudden. So up and down and all around. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> what else have you been playing, boss? Uh, or doing? That, that that's 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 usually I usually only play one game outside of streams. Oh, okay. That's all the time I really have. I've been working. Uh, to stay ahead of the game for editing and stuff like that. Uh, I've also been really practicing like crazy, so hopefully we'll get... I keep saying we're going to get some new music, but I keep hesitating to go turn on the recording button to make it actually happen. Did you even upload the um, the podcast last week? No, I completely week? forgot. I was going to do that today, um, too, and then I forgot again. Uh, I'll remind you then. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a two-week-old E3 discussion yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to get the to get the uh, you know juices a flowing yeah, as they say. Pretty much. But yeah, um, I haven't. I don't really play more than one game typically. I mean, Smash is kind of a thing that's easy to just put down, pick up, put down. Silvercase is a little more intensive. Uh, but besides that, I typically don't focus my you know game playing uh free time more than one game generally mm. so i agree with that uh your stance because it's hard to balance it it's like oh man am i feeling like playing this long game or this long game wouldn't it be better if i just played one long game and then, so then it gets finished yeah pretty so, much I mean, that's yeah. especially with like streaming and stuff too it gets kind of like too much happening at one time yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to pick up more games, though. But you know, I, we, we settled for this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean for roller coaster? You mean? No, the, the silver case. I'm. Oh, playing. oh yeah. I yeah, mean, I do right, enjoy yeah. it, but it's definitely. It's... I feel like I enjoyed the first one more than uh, 25th Ward. At least that's just me. It's starting to really so... just kind of grind out at this point. Yeah, yeah. Dragon. It's a. It's 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 an it's very intensive game. Yeah. So. But uh, that's our weeks. Anything, anything else? I don't, boss. I don't have anything that I can think of. This might be a, This might be the shortest podcast we yeah. have. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to talk about this week. I think podcast. I th I feel like we were best off if they're like two weeks between. Or yeah, something. there's there's a lot of stuff to talk about. That's not a bad idea actually. Every other week. When we have nothing to talk about, it's good if we have um, these stupid things that we're about to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, let me pull up my notes for this. Um, if, if you want to <laughs> mention our sponsor, I guess right now. Um, to, do you have the the dun 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 the music? Well, I, don't um, there. I don't. <laughs> I always do the sponsorship slightly. I, I've been doing the sponsorship right, slightly. Right, do you have one? Okay, I got go. Today we're sponsored by a uh, Serta certified mattress. <laughs> certified mattress? Yeah, Serta certified mattress. Serta the... certified mattress. Serta certified mattress. Okay. On the please don't watch this podcast, where you can email us at the please don't email this podcast at gmail.com. Uh, are you? 
Carl, do you, do you, have, do you have a hard time sleeping at night? All the time. Well, what have I told you? That there is a nice, cheap, easy to afford the uh, asterisk here <laughs> mattress. I don't have any money. That you could. Oh, well, what have I told you? If you use the promo code, I don't have any money on the Serta certified mattress certified website. No, really, I don't have any money. Well, if you don't, if you the certified <laughs> the mattress. <laughs> I don't have a computer. How are you talking to me? Uh, don't worry about it. Okay. Well, if you don't have a computer, then you can get one at the Serta certified <laughs> And you could put you could put all the money that you don't have in there, kind of like Mr. Krabs. Uh, and then you could rest on the bed until Squidward and SpongeBob replace it. <laughs> So use the what the, the promo code Dollar Shave Club <laughs> for a mattress that you can sleep on tonight. By tonight. Asterisk. Who's gonna ship this out? Um, Santa Claus. We we have him on. The Don't horns. you mean Santa Slasher? No, that's me. I'm not delivering. You think you're crazy? I'm not even being paid. <laughs> uh. Uh. But yeah, that's the sponsor. Asterisk, not true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you should make a compilation of these commercials because they, they're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running. I, I can't. I, I'm not a fast thinker. You might surprise, surprise. <laughs> but I had to look around my room and see, like, okay, who would, who? What's a, what's a brand? Mattresses. Boom. Carl's using smoke signals to talk to me. Okay. All right. So uh, let's let's get into our uh, our discussion here. Um, today's discussion is uh, we, we. So I I split it up into a couple things. Um, if, if you want to find some stuff while we're talking. Um, right. I, I, ugly cars and awful cars. Ugly and awful. What's yeah. the distinction between the two? Um, you'll understand when we uh, get going here. So. Uh, okay. This, this first car I want to show off. Actually, let's not show a picture of that one because that one. You can post it on the podcast thing because I have it open. Yeah. So for you, for for those who are listening in, we will describe these cars to the best of our ability. Uh, this was a segment we used to do a long time ago with uh, desserts, but now we're doing cars, ugly cars. So, but oh. if you have the if you have the YouTube thing open, you could probably just see what we're sharing with you. Oh shoot, that's that's not okay. So it looks yeah, that's like, a uh, that's a white screen. Yeah, it is. Uh, Firefox apparently does not want to be uh, screen captured anymore, which is why the uh. the uh, thing started to break. Oh, so sad. When I googled ugly cars, the first thing that showed up was a PT Cruiser. <laughs> I mean, I don't really like the PT Cruiser all myself, but. Let, let me let me show you. you. Called me it. <laughs> let, let me let me show you what we're what we're really working on here. All right. Uh, this is of course uh, the Tango 600, uh, otherwise known as Commuter Cars Tango. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just saw it. It's chunky. It's uh, it's a car, okay. all right. That's for sure. Um, Let's yeah. define it. Let's <laughs> define. <laughs> Um, That's the fun part here. <laughs> so I it it's a two seater, I think. No, it's a one seater. Really? Yeah. Hold, it's not even hold, that, not hold, even that wide. Hold, hold on. Let, let me let me give me the second picture. Okay. Okay. So there's, um, there's... so imagine a smart car that looks like a van but doesn't know what it wants to be. Here we go. It's not a van. Oh, that it's it's thin and chunky at the same time. <laughs> yeah, <it is. laughs> the front side is like a, uh, it's like a. Imagine, imagine you're in a like a photo editor, and you have like a normal car. Imagine just squeezing it. <laughs> That's what this car looks like. I don't. I, I honestly, I don't even know if I could actually fit in this thing. I I might be too big for this car. Me too, cause I'm tall. <laughs> It's the EV says that it's one of those Walmart cards <laughs> that are shaped like a, a car for your toddlers. Yeah, I can see that. 
But but boy, you you sure you sure hit the ground running with this ugly beast. <laughs> I can't. It's not even cute. Like like it could be a small car that looks cute, but it looks from the front it looks like a sports car that's like squished and smooshed, and then from the side it looks like a, one of those cube cars. So it has a you width know? of thirty nine inches and a length of hundred and one inches. Uh, <laughs> but here's the crazy part. Do you want to? Uh, anybody want to take a guess of how much this car weighs? Hmm, probably, I want to give it, I want to say, not even a ton, right? Am I right in that regard? No, you're not. Oh, it's heavier than a ton? Apparently, according to this, this car weighs over 3,000 pounds. Whoa. <laughs> Where did they and, put it? And, and, and it gets better, too. Apparently... You did your research. No, I'm just on Wikipedia reading this right now. Yeah, that's more it's, research than me. It's zero to 60. In? <laughs> 3.2 seconds. I don't know. This, this isn't right. Something's wrong about this. Somebody wants to edit this for, for giggles. I wish we could show videos too, but I mean, that's that's like copywritten <laughs> to a degree. But and, like, boy, and, howdy. And it gets better. George Clooney apparently owned one of these. <laughs> <laughs> when was this car manufactured? Uh, apparently, so it, it's uh, it's made by a company called Commuter Cars, which is American. It's based in okay. Spokane, Washington. Uh, it's a hundred and eight thousand dollars for this car. Holy That's... crap! <laughs> Uh, this is basically a car if you want to be annoying to people on sidewalks. <laughs> it, it, it It's a 2005 up to 2014. 2005? Wow. <laughs> you, this car is amazing, dude. <laughs> I want this car. <laughs> I just imagine this car in initial D going up against top of me. <laughs> Zero to 60 in three seconds. All right, all right, let me let me get let me get the next one here. So yes, the the, the Tango six hundred. I'm I'm tearing that at a S tier. <laughs> for for an amazing vehicle. <laughs> for for your amazing cars of the day. Yeah, that that one that one's that one's really amazing. The, that info you just shared. All right, um, this this next one it's it's gonna disappoint everybody, but I gotta I gotta stay firm on my opinion on it. Is it, the, is it the is it the jalopy? No. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry, everybody, but I have to say it. This is an awful car. Is that the DeLorean? It is the DeLorean with a really messed up wheel back there. What the heck is up with that wheel? So what what do you not like about it? Uh, it's supposed to be really slow, like disappointingly slow. When I think it only does like a hundred, give or take. And it's the kind right. of I, That's I think why it like. Has to be <laughs> yeah, it's so hard. I mean, it looks kind of cool, but at the same time, like it's just it looks okay, I guess. Dude, I pulled up to uh the, the gas station and this dude had the DeLorean and he had his uh the, the door open and on the back of the car it said back to future. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people have that kind of stuff, like out yeah. of time or. But like, I didn't think I didn't think it was I didn't think I'd see one just you know on my regular day to day. Well, see, the, the biggest know. the bigger problem too is that these cars are unfortunately American, so they have a lot of American problems with it. They just break down a lot. Right. Um, uh, as well as them being slow, I also hear that like underneath the car, they're like a horrendous rust bucket, like stainless steel aside. And I think, I, think, I sorry. think, from what I understand too, they're really fragile. So like, if you crash your DeLorean, it's gonna be a bad time. I agree with the Evening in that I wouldn't want one, but I, I it still kind of looks cool, and uh, it, it's definitely of its time. It's very angular, which is what I like. But I, I never thought, oh man, this car looks fun to drive. <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, like, somebody uh, put a Corvette engine into it one day to try to make right. it better, and they were like, yeah, this is how I always envisioned the DeLorean to actually be. 
Oh, I see. Okay. But because of its crappy, like, I think it's got a six cylinder engine in it too, so it's really slow. Not... I should mention, Carl's a car guy, I'm not very much so. <laughs> I don't really know much about cars. Like, uh, my knowledge of cars comes from that image dolly shade. So it's like a, what is it? A, the hood is like a flippy dippy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This next one here is an absolute classic. I'm, of course, talking ready. about the, the Reliant Robin. Oh, <laughs> didn't, um, in uh, Top Gear, didn't they uh, skid out on this one? Yeah, the, the they're, they're not... Supposedly, the rumor of why these cars became a thing is that uh, up in England, uh, because of taxes being super high, they had to find a way to get around it. And I think this classified as some sort of like bike car hybrid thing. And so, what this that. is, by the way, for people listening and not watching, it's a uh, it's that three. You you may have seen it in like the searches and stuff. It's a three wheeled car that kind of has like a little roundy tubey shape kind of deal <laughs> it's hard to describe this car um it's like a boat it's oh it's the boat it's like the boats they drive in spongebob where it's like uh yeah it two is. wheels in the back one wheel in the front yeah this is exactly what that is <laughs> <laughs> why does it look like a car with bo yeah i guess the license plate does kind of make it that doesn't it I always like um, how cars kind of have, like, faces on them. <laughs> yeah, see, I mean, there, there's happy cars. Like, let me, let me find a good picture of a, an MR2. Um, cars will have goofy faces. Cars will have, like, sad faces. <laughs> this one looks chipper. It looks like a it looks like a bunny. But, obviously, it does not... Um, it's not stable, uh, as I've described earlier. It's a, not a stable car. So, um, you're not really, it's not safe drive. That's the, I wonder what's the zero to 60 on that thing. Uh, I, not sure if that's existent. I'll, I'll have to look that up in a second. Okay, so, uh, this, this is not part of the list, but I figured, I just wanted to show it for the sake of, uh, of we were just talking about the faces. This is an MR2 Spider. My brother owns one of these cars, but if you look at that face, like there's clearly a smile being shown there. The eyes are clearly, or the the, the, the lights are clearly eyes, and it's a little badges. <laughs> the nose. Yeah. So you know. Th those car cars like that remind me of Sonic for some reason. <laughs> oh God. Why? Well, the new Sonic. <laughs> I think about it. Did I ruin it? Uh, ruined. I, mean, I don't think that this new Sonic could be ruined anymore. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, more. No, I'm looking to see if the the Reliant has a a speed at all. It was capable of doing 85. <laughs> so the DeLorean can outpace it. <laughs> yes. And 85 is pretty catastrophic in itself. I mean, I wouldn't want to be taking that car that fast. That, yeah, that's dangerous sounding. <laughs> and then, uh, speaking of Top Gear, we might as well just throw this on here as well. Uh, Was it Jeremy Clarkson's one-man car thing? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, oh, it's even better than that. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it's just a compilation of every car they make on trips. <laughs> I mean, this wasn't even made on a trip. It was just made... Oh. <laughs> this is the the hammer I don't remember that episode. eye thrust made by the, <laughs> the, the top geared team. Um, it is so, a fully electric car. If I let's let's describe it. It's a uh, it's a, it's apocalyptic looking. Um, yeah, I would agree with that. It look no, actually, you know, what it looks like it looks like um, a food truck. <laughs> yeah, I guess I could see that. Now, did you but, did you notice the most important thing on the front of the car? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it has a mustache. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, just in case. But but it's it's a it's a QB looking thingy. If you haven't seen the show, I don't remember the car honestly though. <laughs> so they built it as a, an attempt to try to build a uh, an all electric car. Um, right. 
and when they built the first one, it did like 22 as a max speed because they put one trolley battery in it and nothing else. So they, they managed to get onto the highway with it and they were like still going 22 on a highway that was easily 65 to 70. <laughs> that car is uh, impressive. It's it's something. It's something we would... That's like a car you would make in Gmod. Correct. <laughs> I would 100% agree with that. I could easily make that in Gmod. I could do this. Well, then let's do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, ha have you found any cars to look at? Um, the Well, I don't know if it's on your list, though. I'll just say it. The, the Covini C6W. You got to spell it for me. Uh, here, I'll just message you. So then you could find an image. Oh man, I forgot. Right click does not work on my mouse. Too much. Here, this car. Uh, let's, let's see what we got. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why? Oh. <laughs> Why? That's not real, is it? Look at all the images. <laughs> <laughs> it's real. <laughs> Can't, that poss can't possibly be real. <laughs> I, just, I don't ever feel. Hold on. You know what you know. should be playing right now? You should be playing the Gran Turismo. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess I could. Song. <laughs> that song. Uh... So, this, uh, this car you're seeing on the screen, folks. Imagine, imagine like the cool, uh, a cool sports car, and then imagine adding another pair of front wheels onto it. <laughs> so there are there are four wheels in the front, and then two wheels in the back. It, what? it's apparently a rear wheel drive still, which is dumb. <laughs> It was made in it was it was started in 1974 and then abandoned until 2004 or 3. So it has a top speed of 186 miles per hour which is okay. Sure. But yeah, that's that's a good one, man. I <laughs> I I don't know how I feel about that. That's that's problematic. Like there's there's another car. Let me see if I can find it. Um, Do you see it with its wheels turned too? Both wheels turn. <laughs> Which is the funny thing. <laughs> oh, Evie's like, oh man, this car is like growing on me. Not legit, unironically. <laughs> so, uh, like... AMG, which is uh, the performance section of Mercedes. Um, right. They, they make something kind of similar to that, but this makes a lot more sense when you look at it. it does that that makes more sense to me? I mean, first of all, the, the the two back wheels are in the back, or the you know, not in the front. Right. Uh, so, what's up, Mister Ribs? How are you doing today? And I, I, that is, it's like they took a saline and just ruined it. That's like the best way I can put that. I don't get what the point of that second wheel is, or the second axle, or the third axle, I should say, is. Now, look, on that other car you just po showed, the, um, it, so, I, I didn't even say anything about it. It's a Jeep kind of, it was a Jeep looking thing, but the two, the two wheels were, um, there were four wheels in the back into the front. But I kind of see, I would see the point of the wheels being in the front on the Jeep car for the sake of, I guess, traction. I don't even know if that works or if that's scientific. But this one does. I don't see the benefit. I, I don't either. I mean, you, you might get. Do you more... turn better, River? <laughs> oh, that's. I mean, if the car, if both wheels turn or all four wheels on the front turn, sure, maybe. But. I don't, I don't, <laughs> no, no. Well, let's move on before yeah. you. Um, I'm, I'm actually struggling pass to find, out. find a good picture of this next one here because it's. You know, this is going to be a multi-picture one. It's the only way I can do it. No problem. Let me see the truth. Okay, so this is called the, uh, the 
The Tartan Prancer. It is, a, it is a hideous looking. Name. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a Lego car! <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> If it's not no. any more confusing, <laughs> hold on. It gets better. Oh, does the does the doors open weird? No, there's no. there's there's three sets of doors on that thing. Oh, it's a reversey car, I bet. <laughs> there are two. I noticed the um Oops, the that's, that's a messed up picture. The mirrors. <laughs> oh, what happened there? <laughs> okay. So just oh, describe this car before Carl can. Get the real picture. Imagine, um, <laughs> imagine a van, like a uh, like a regular van, except they rounded it out. <laughs> and it well, Carl's about to show the the amazing thing about it, but it seems to have four sets of side view mirrors, or four side view mirrors rather, on the end and the front of it, and it seems to have three sets of doors on both sides. <laughs> So I'm awfully curious what this image Carl is going to share. I'm trying to find the back side of it, and I... It... You can? <laughs> Hold on, I, I'm, I'm going to find it. I believe in you to find it. Now, the weird thing about this car is that I thought this was a joke when I first saw it. But it's real, right? I guess so. <laughs> Go figure that. Okay, so if, if you look at it from the side angle, because it's the best I could find, it's... <laughs> it's one of those things where it's like, either side could be... Either side. Sup, Trevor underscore MH. How are you doing today? I'm like... This was originally made... I, I hold, hold on. Let me let me find some information on this car, cause yeah, I need some info on this hold nonsense hold here. Hold on. <laughs> I like I like how the 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 setting of this picture. Um, it's that car that we're discussing, that looks like it doesn't know where it starts and where it ends. Yeah. And in the background is this really nice looking like three story house. <laughs> Looks like it's in the expensive part of, of like, you know, the neighborhood. <laughs> and it's just it's just funny. Funny. <laughs> what are those three slots on the side? I don't wanna know. What is that? Oh, gas, <laughs> electricity, and then what? Spit, milk? Yeah, maybe. Maybe Juice? it's a second. Uh, there's like no information on this car. I don't think it's real. I'd love for it to not be real so I don't have to see it in real life. I found a car with an ugly front, but I don't know what it's called. <laughs> so I'm looking Pet for it. Gas, diesel, and electric. Man, that would be. That's messed up. All right. That's cray cray. You got another one? No, I'm still searching for the. I'm, I'm searching for the name of it, um, which right, will, well, which would I, help I, out. I got, an, I got another one. Uh, of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're finding something else. All right, this is the Fiat Multipla. Multi the, the Markiplier. Multi Multipla. <laughs> I every time I see one of these cars, I can't figure out why anybody wants one. Who wants this? It looks like a, what is it? It's the it's that fish with a it's a Napoleon fish, I think. <laughs> let me see. So let me see if I'm right, and then you could put a side by side <laughs> comparison. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's, no wait, it's a humphead race. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> do you have a picture, Carl? Yeah, I'm. It's different spelling. Uh, it's a W R A S S E. So it's <laughs> it's a car with like a like a stubby front. It's a it's a van type deal, a CRV kind of thing, and the the front is like <laughs> lower than it should be. 
You guys see the comparison? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess I can kind of see it. I don't know. It's just... Why couldn't they just connect the rest of the car together up there? It like, looks just, like... Just, just, yeah. It looks like when a person sucks in their gut. <laughs> <laughs> it does! It does! <laughs> it's like... <gasps> Hello. Just, just let it flow naturally. <laughs> there, there, there aren't children present. You could, you could let loose. But that, that thing is, you need, you need to put like a sensor bar on that thing. I don't like it. <laughs> a sensor bar? Yeah, I don't trust it. Oh. It's like, it, so it's like, it's rotund. It's like, if, if, if the best explanation Carl was probably getting at is that it looks like two different cars slapped onto yeah, each other. Yeah, pretty much. Is the best way to put it. Like the it. top car, the top half looks like a Woodstock kind of van type deal. Like you drive that to Woodstock. And the bottom part looks like a one of those like Jeep kind of car thingies, but not like a Jeep. It's like a, yeah. like a CRV, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. That I... car, I put that put that in the, the, the F tier. I don't like that car <laughs> too much. <laughs> The, the first car was... It's cute in a way. That car, I didn't like it. <laughs> All right, this, I'm this, sorry. This next one... Uh, it's gonna probably, this one may shock you. <laughs> it's going to probably make some people sad, but I got to put it out there because I, I don't like it. Okay. This is, this is considered a classic, I mean... But I don't... The, be the Beatle! I just... What the good old... What, what, what's the movie? <laughs> The oh, Herbie? The Herbie, yeah. Not Herbie. Her uh, Jerby. I hate this um, car. You know, the newer Beetle, I'm actually okay with that, but not this one. Um have you seen the newer kind of model? It's yeah, no it's, it's not as obtuse. No, it's no, they're all bad. No. Um no. but the only reason why I like that car is because loop on the third rides it and that's it i it's just a weird mm. design i guess it, it literally is a beetle design yeah but i just i don't why does anybody want these i think they tightened up the design in a sense at least it's not like so obtuse anymore but I, like besides that i mean I, I never really liked the beetle myself I, I see I see why it's a classic though it, it it's very recognizable. I mean people buy them so clearly they have to be were renowned and wanted. Maybe it's because they have a pet frog. Evie says he wants them <laughs> as just for collection and nothing else. No, uh, well, he's saying the appeal would be as a collector just to have yeah. Uh, I'm still looking for this car. I'll just send it to you. I can't find the what the heck this is. Because <laughs> you guys were talking about cars that you like the front of the car. And that car is not... <laughs> All right, not appealing I, I, I to got, me. I got a classic one here. Hit me up with the classics. This, this, this is the Austin Princess. Look at that brown. That is just. And look at. <laughs> Looks kind of sporty. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the brown, the brown with the black top looks a little weird. Um. But the shape of it, I'm not, I'm not opposed to it. It's you know what this car reminds me of is it's a AMC Pacer or Gremlin. That right. the British decided, hey, we want one too. I thought it was a Pinto at first. <laughs> no, it's this a, a British car. So, uh, how would you describe this car? It's like a, it's like a sedan. It's grandpa's <laughs> grandpa's home. Yeah, Uncle Lufty or whatever <laughs> <laughs> would, would love this car. I mean, this car would be way it's better a... than the Leica, but you know. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not too. I'm not too opposed to this car, honestly. This, uh... it's, it, it, the color could be better, but visually, I don't think it's that bad. The shape of it. Uh, no, no, the, the shape of it is terrible. It's like, here, here, let, me, let me find another. Let me find a more open shape. 
<laughs> this uh, Dolly says this car had a bad tan job. <laughs> All right, here, here's here's a more side view of the car. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> I thought the back was like lowered. No, this is like, not if a back sports was lowered, car. If it was lowered, it would look nice. It, with that though, it's a. Uh, it looks chunky. It looks like a chunkier like eight six or something. Because <laughs> the eight six is a is a very angular car, but. It, 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 to me, it, its angles are good. That one is a little, little chunk. That looks like Timmy's dad's car. It looks like the <laughs> DeLorean's fat brother. All right, yeah, I could, I could believe that. But yeah, I think, I, I think the problem was the, uh, is the back. Now that you show that. <laughs> Otherwise, I think it would look fine. Would you agree with that? If, if, if it was just the, like the back was. Down and then flat and then down again. I don't know, man. There, there's not much you can do to save that thing. Like, <sighs> I found some great cars, but um, I think at the end, when if I can't if I can't find the name of these cars, I'll just send you the image and then we'll just discuss it. So, so Rob Rob sent a picture of a car. Um, I see I. I think this this looks fine. It's a little too much red, but uh, I, the back kind of looks weird to me. It, it doesn't like it. It kind of it kind of looks like um. It's a what do you call it? So it's this outward. This probably has what's called a rumble seat in the back. Um, <laughs> this is, those are things that you cannot get away with in this day and age. With tilt controls? No, no hold, hold on. Let me let me find a good picture of it. I think the back is kind of the back of the the top looks a little weird to me. Okay, so like it's not angled right. <laughs> so this is this is a rumble seat essentially. So do people sit in the back there? Yes, <laughs> yes they do. Oh, you know you know it's funny. Lupin, uh, the third. I I think he drives both that kind of car and the Beetle. So. <laughs> Nothing about this is safe at all. What do you mean? That seat back? There's no seat belts, first of all. Were you scared? <laughs> I'm not gonna. I would never sit back in one of those. I would use it to sleep in, and then go back into the car where it's say a little safer, like ten percent safer. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think either of those are gonna be ever safe. Right. How many more cars you got, by the way? Oh, I could keep going here. Of course you can. You are the car man of the group, right, right. I think. This, this next one is called... But, no, Super Tom is, too, but... This next one's called the Subaru Brat. What'd you call me? You heard me. Oh. Call me a brat? Huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we should have got Tom on for this, because he, he does the cars. Yeah, I got. I gotta find a decent picture of it. Oh, this, All this, right. This, this one will work, and then we can. I'll show the front of it. Actually, show we'll... me the front. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm looking at these other cars, and a lot. <laughs> All right, here we go. I found so a great one. Th this is the brat. It's basically uh, Subaru's idea of an El Camino or a, a, a Ranchero. Or it's um, a car truck kind of thing. <laughs> but You know how he said, the uh, you know that car, the, the, the car two ones ago? The one that you showed before you showed Rob's? Oh, the princess? Um, yeah, this one is, so that one, imagine a character slider. Like you, you have a slider that just character facial things and stuff right yeah when you're creating a custom character this one is at the opposite spectrum of that other car <laughs> the back is like pulled out because it wants to be a truck <laughs> oh man that that is something isn't it <laughs> but it does not look good but, but here, here's here's why everybody loves the brat so we have that was the front of the car this is the the, the trunk Is that the one they drive in, um, what's it called? Uh, My Name is Earl? 
Uh, don't they drive a car similar to that or something? I remember that episode where they were trying to help out their father, but then they accidentally littered all the uh, posters. It, it might actually be. I've never watched My Name is Earl like, at all. But Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, everybody loves this car because of these stupid backward seats in the trunk or in the uh, the flatbed. I mean, number... Who, what what are you safer in that or the? the well, see, the, bump, one, a guy tried seat. like actually went up to a cop and he was like, "So, what are the rules for these?" And the cop kind of just took a step back and looked at the car, and he's like, "I don't really know." <laughs> Some counties may say yes. Some counties may say no. I like the idea that um, you cut out the front of the car and then you could put this in like a room or something <laughs> as like your oh, hangout yeah, spot. Oh, no, yeah, I, I could, I, like, uh, yeah, I could see that. If you're really into cars, that is. <laughs> oh, you know, that reminds me of, um, there's a Disney attraction at Disney World, uh, It's a restaurant, but the theme is it's, it's, it's a drive-in. So you sit down and one uh Oh, let me let me send seats. you a cool let me send you a cool car by the way. And the, these are the tables. So ah uh, so No, the, I've never never been in there. Yeah, no no, it's it's world, not not land. Oh, <laughs> my bad. And uh, on the the screen, it's like a, a cheesy movie that they play. It's really yeah, cool. That, that's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, Good old flashback from the nineteen, well, I guess forties. Here, Carl, I, I'm sending you the, the a cool car. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up, this link looks spooky. Do I want to open it? So we've been looking at ugly cars. Let's look at a really nice car. Well, I got I got to show. Yeah, we're we're showing it right now. There's another the really nice car. You guys seeing that? I really w like wish I could have owned one of these. You know, as a kid, like this would have been the best thing Not ever. As an adult, I don't think I could fit in that as an adult. <laughs> there's a there's this uh part in Simpsons where uh what was it uh um Millhouse's parents are like estranged at a moment. And then he's like, "Oh yeah, I sleep in a I sleep in a race car bed. I've always wanted to sleep in a race car bed." And Homer's like, "Oh yeah, I sleep in a big bed with my wife." <laughs> <laughs> I guess I no, I don't think I would have wanted one myself though. <laughs> no, we, but we, I can see I can see the appeal as a child. <laughs> I have one more uh, a really bad car to talk about, and then we can move on to awesome looking cars. Awesome. <laughs> I just looked up more stupid cards. Oh no, we can we can go go with that. Just okay, okay. Just give me give me give me give me. Give me I got some great ones. I don't know what these are though, but you'll probably get a kick out of it anyway. I mean, this is this is the. This is a topic that can't end. <laughs> this is the car, to talk about. The classic. I'm sitting. You keep calling every car classic. Well, this one kind of is classic. It's the Pontiac car... Aztec. <laughs> the front is two faces. <laughs> so you have the pair of eyes and then the smile there. And then below, you got the, the sadder brother. Going, hmm. <laughs> is this actually a classic? Yeah, people... I... Uh... It, it, it like like the previous car you, we were looking at. It looks like two cars that don't know what to do. <laughs> so they they did a fusion ha. They went fusion ha, and then they came out as Veku. <laughs> That's for Rob in the audience, I think. I don't know. I, I guess there's they're supposed to I guess be super reliable cars, but. I don't know. That's, that's I mean, it looks sturdy, if anything. <laughs> um, I, I also have this this one here. This, this is a Toyota Prius with the camper conversion kit on it. <laughs> <laughs> what other... was that? That's not Top Gear, right? <laughs> no, that's a real thing, I think. 
Damn. They were either going to release it or they did release it. I don't remember, but this is. I... That's deplorable. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I thought that was a top because they did that. They tried to do like a uh, you know an RV thing. So I was like, oh, did they do that? Yeah, they did not do that. Someone, someone thought it was a good idea. <laughs> That's impressive. There's... So, um, you got any more cars, Carl? Yeah, I got another one here. Okay. So then we can switch over to you. This is uh. The Sanyang Muso. A Muso? So it's Dynasty Warriors? <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's, it's tall! <laughs> it's big. This is what it is. It's, it's a, it's, to, okay, if I were to describe this, it's a sporty truck with a, uh, with a 8.6 or DeLorean back end. <laughs> It's a, it, it's like, yeah, I'm still, I'm, it's a, it's an old man who's still with it. <laughs> if I could describe that car. I, I get, okay. I'm still with it. Good, you know. But man, you could, if you, if you squint, it looks like a, you know, a, a car. It looks like a normal truck, but then someone put something on the back. <laughs> but uh, besides that, I, I, that's a, that's an interesting shape, dude. Dolly sent this picture of this Aztec with gullwing doors. Or not gullwing, uh, scissor doors. That's the that's the crazy taxi fire. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> that uh, so, um, we previously showed the gullwing. This is a uh, one with the doors that go kind of slide up, <laughs> type deal, and it has like a fire decal. It looks like a Hot Wheels car in real life. Yeah, it does. I would agree with that, too. Like one of those ones that you didn't even like as a kid. It's like, ugh. <laughs> All right, what, what do you got, man? All right, um, so I sent you one already before that one. Oh, yeah, I'm going to look at that real quick. Uh, Rob uh, sent a good I'm one, not, too. We don't, there's no names for these, so we'll name them ourselves, okay? I'm assuming this is just a green car. I'm going to call it the turtle. <laughs> yeah, okay, I could... Uh, I mean... <sighs> so, look at that front. You could grate cheese with that. Yeah, thing. you could. I it's, just uh, appalled at how green it is. I, it's, uh, it, it's the car line green drives. <laughs> oh. So, it's like a... It's, it's, it's a turtle shell in the back type deal. It's all green. And so, and the wheels are even green too. The, um, what is it? What is it? The spoiler? No, not spoiler. Well, I'm stupid. Uh, the, uh, hubcap. The rims. Yeah, I don't know why they green. did that. That's, that's a terrible idea. The <laughs> front has like this circular cheese grater and it kind of elongates. It looks like, it looks like if you stretch someone's face out too. So to me, it's a so, turtle. So basically, it's facelift. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the turtle, okay? Next, I got. Wait, I wait, sent Carl something. Hold on, hold on. There. <laughs> <laughs> it looks normal like that. It kind of looks a little normal. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Oh, oof. that's uh. It, this looks like they. I heavily edited a. Uh, a beetle. A, yeah, no, a VW van. Uh, <laughs> you know one of those hippie vans? Like that's the Yeah. That, that's what that looks like. What that is to uh, you That's can, a slug. Uh, that is like <laughs> It is literally a slug on wheels. It looks like the Rocket Man's face on the front, you know <laughs> that that uh that superhero? Yeah. You know what's confusing to me? So the window it, it kind of looks like an optical illusion if you don't look at it correctly. Well, it's a, is this a split window? It is. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, ick. you didn't even notice that? <laughs> oh, ick, that's gross. That's illegal, so, I think. Imagine, uh, like, so it's kind of like a beetle, except imagine it's like a limo kind of a beetle. Hmm. But if I raised up a little too, it's funky, dude. That's a... Uh, that's well, so. It's the slug. We got the turtle yeah, and the slug. The turtle and the slug. Yeah. All right. Uh... <laughs> I found a great one. Is this, it's just um... even a. Uh... 
My question is, is this even a car or is it more of a tricycle? <laughs> I have a good descriptor for that car. <laughs> I can't find another picture of it, like, but... Oh, oh, the car you're just showing. Oh. <laughs> it actually, you know, this does look like it was converted from a motorcycle. Like, at the back end there? That's the one that Cloud drives at it when they're doing the Midgar race thing. I don't, uh, no, I don't think that's what he drives. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That's, that's, that's if you, that's if you wear the dress costume. <laughs> but that, that is a, uh, that's an impressive car. They sure have a, what do you call it? Um, you, I just noticed something. Was there, was that a two seater? Was there a seat above the no, driver's seat? No, there was not. That no, was super darn. unsafe. Okay, well, I sent you the uh, another one there. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Quit sending me the spoopy links. Sorry. This looks like Pac-Man. <laughs> I, I, I was thinking it looks like a bean. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does, like from uh, uh, Mario and Luigi. Oh, and dude, you know what? The the, the back? It's kind of like Pikachu's face, except really messed up. Because <laughs> it's got the red cheek thing. That's There's a, there's like a... Uh, and then there's the nose. And then and then it's got like a robot face eyes. <laughs> so, to describe this car, it is kind of like a... It's like a kidney bean. It's like a very round. Very small, too. It looks like a... I don't even know if it's a two-seater. I think it would be. No, yeah, it's. I'm pretty sure it's a two seater. <laughs> it looks wide enough, anyways. Uh, I don't that know. one's great. Though. That 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 one's cute. <laughs> if anything, I found a gold mine of a of a website here. This this, this one. <laughs> this is just a can <laughs> tipped on its side. Describe the. I have a good word for the expression on that car. Surprise. <laughs> Shock. It looks horrified. <laughs> it's like, oh! <laughs> That's. Carl, you know what that looks like? Look in, look in chat right here. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, let me do this real quick. <laughs> it looks like the Pog Carl. <laughs> oh, it does! Wait, hold, hold, hold on. I, 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 I can, uh, I'll grab the picture. We'll give, do a side-by-side -side comparison. You're right, though. It looks like a tin can. It's a, it's a tin can on its side. It has a big circle in the middle. And then... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, hold on. Hold on I can... Are you going to stretch it? No, I'm going to... Look, I'm, I'm driving the car. <laughs> I'm on the out, I'm out to work, guys. <laughs> this, this, is, this is the best editing you've ever done. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, you have to have Kai, Kai on the side. Oh yeah. <laughs> is that a tuna can, car? Is this Tom? <laughs> yes, it is. You know, this image makes me think immediately Mallow Mart for some reason. Don't worry, I found a glow. <laughs> That's like the emblem of the car. No, no. Wait, hold on. This is going to be... Am I there too? There we go. <laughs> I love it. Dude, that's great. Dude, wait, Carl. Before you, that's not that's an okay idea, but you know what I should be? Look, I should you're, be a You're a, the a, you're the exhaust coming out of the car. <laughs> no, the Carl, flame. Carl, I got a better idea. I should be the flame decal on the side of the car. Oh yeah, yeah that's good. Okay. <laughs> you, just, you just gotta stretch me out. <laughs> yeah, Alright, hold on. <laughs> Meanwhile I'm sending Carl all these like pics. <laughs> We got like a couple more cars to go. 
Yeah. <laughs> Dang, that's tech right there. Carl's is going for angles and <laughs> Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Dude, that's sick. <laughs> <laughs> that should have been the jalop. You're a better editor than me. Should have been the jalopy, uh, you know, thumbnail. <laughs> but that's great. I like that. <laughs> the pug car. <laughs> oh man, look! It's like a. It's like my job is to fire you. <laughs> A subtitle on my way to fire speed. <laughs> <laughs> the license plate just says speed fired. <laughs> All right. I'm sending Carl some amazing cars right now. Well, while, while this one's on the screen. I apologize to everybody who's listening to the podcast this week. It's kind of a, a rough listen. Kind of a impossible to. Uh, you have to. You have to disobey orders. You have to watch this podcast. Alright, Carl, this is, I think, I think that's the last Carl send. Alright. Wait, no! I found one more ugly so, car. <laughs> so, okay, what they did was they took a, what, a Pontiac Grand Am and just <laughs> attached an old Ford truck on top of it. <laughs> this is sporty meets old. That's not even a Antique. sporty car. <laughs> well, look, it's got a spoiler. <laughs> Which seems non-existent looking. <laughs> or is the truck behind it? That's a that's a that, that's that's just a simple one. But we got some more crazy ones on the way. Trust me. <laughs> oh, and I got one last car to send. Cause uh, this topic can go on forever <laughs> if we let it. Cause there are just so many amazing car mods. Okay, I, I, I got go. I got one more I want to I want to show. Okay. Talk about stuff like that. I'm trying to think of things to say, but <laughs> well, yeah, you should have just left the car on screen so I could just keep going <laughs> while you're searching. <laughs> well, I'll go ahead and put this one up and then while I'm searching okay. for the next one. This is the real. This is the P car. Yeah, that's the idea. The uh, weird desserts. We uh, went with it. Yeah, that, that car is a that car is a, a lime. <laughs> is it? You know what? I have a hard time deciding though. If no, it is a four wheel because it. I thought it was like another, like two in the front and then one in the back. So imagine uh, you're playing one of those gotcha things with a capsule, and then you turn it into a car. <laughs> that's what that is. <laughs> It's like, it's hard. To, it's a, it's the Power Ranger mask. You know what this looks like? It looks like the uh, completely safe capsule from Mother Three that Pokey gets into. <laughs> right, it does. <laughs> <laughs> it looks, it's spherical, dude. It's the, that's the game sphere. Like, it the, is a oh, That is the OVU. Wait, do you know something? What's that dice? Oh no, never mind. That's just probably just a cropped out image. I thought yeah. there was fuzzy, big fuzzy dice in the, no. the corner. <laughs> I was like, I want those. But yeah, that's the game sphere. All right, that's that's lime green right there. <laughs> People call this the Centurion. It is a big van attached to a a, a big truck. The you you may be wondering, did the image not load for speed? It did. I just didn't. I'm just aw speechless. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? What? <laughs> Why can't why couldn't they decide what it want to be? No, so many cars. Honest, I mean, like if you think about it, you know, a, a big semi truck. Some of those have you know cabs in them. Just make of, it a big van then. Well, <laughs> what if you want to carry stuff in the the flatbed part? Yeah, then make it a van. You, you can put stuff in the back still. You can't put if stuff the that's top is just, covered. Yeah, no, but you can't put stuff in the the top or the back if it's too tall for the. Well, van. maybe you don't deserve to drive a car if that's your intent with <laughs> that purchase. <laughs> Look, it looks like something you'd have to drive through Midgar to be safe. <laughs> That's, I don't like it. 
That's that's my least favorite card you've shown me. Wow, that's 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 the that's your winner. Yeah, because the other ones are goofy and silly. That one's stupid. <laughs> I don't like it. All right, all right, here here's here's the next one that you've shown. I don't even know what's going. It looks like they melted the top of it. <laughs> it does. It it it's that that is it a looks, humpback race. It looks angry. It looks like sinister. <laughs> it does. It like, looks like that's like that's like the car Cruella de Vil would ride yeah, up pretty to. Pretty much. Oh. I've been looking for those. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it looks like they put a car on top of another car. Like I said that before, but this one looks like it's separate. Do you notice that? Yeah. There's no, a I'm... silver part on top, and yeah, then... it's uh like disconjointed. Almost. Now, Dolly asked a good question, and none of us, I don't think either of us can answer it. I'm pretty sure that's the front. But I, it could be the back. <laughs> I don't think that's the back. I think that's the front. Backs don't I want to know have the full like image that. of that car. I want to know the full image. Because, like, look at it. Like, what's even, the, what's even that windshield thing? What is that? It's just a really goofy windshield, I guess. It looks like, it looks like gel. Hair gel. They stuck it on top of their car. <laughs> Like uh, the kid was going to church, and then so they gelled up his hair, but then he wanted to bring his car, and then the gel got on the car. <laughs> That's a stretch, but <laughs> it looks like that. So, is this a train or what? <laughs> you know what that is? That's high ordinance. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, no, no, no. So, what they've done is it looks like they put like a they took a, a cut of like a Ford Falcon or something of the sorts and then they right. took the part of a boat and just dropped it on top of it so it's a literal boat if you've never been to america but you've heard all the stereotypes that's probably what you think our cars look like <laughs> i know it, so uh, to mention it's a four it's an eight wheeler <laughs> it's big it, that is that is a, big that's a chungus right there that's big <laughs> I don't even know how to describe that fully. I don't like I don't, at the bottom. It's like a was it a camera or whatever? <laughs> did you imagine driving that thing? I don't get it. <laughs> how do you get in? You just no. There's a little stepping spot to get in. Oh. <laughs> Does that swim? If that if that car swims, then it gets a pass. But otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, that's just America. The car. I, I guess, man. It's crazy. I don't like it. I, I still like this car more than the other one for some reason. All right, so next, next we have. Uh, I, I'd like now, I don't think, mean to be rude. <laughs> I'd like to think of this as like Mallow's daily driver <laughs> from Super Mario RPG. I think this is actually an art piece that they have in a museum. I think that's the backstory. But this car, I don't like saying this, but it's true. It, it looks like it's obese. <laughs> Yeah, I can see that. It, it it went to it went to Cheesecake Factory. It ordered uh it ordered too much. <laughs> <laughs> that you know what that is? That's what that's how Shaggy and Scooby look like after they eat. <laughs> it's a it's it's a it's a thick car. It's, it's, it's the fluffy puff marshmallow <laughs> guy's car. <Yeah. laughs> so how do you describe this car? It's 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 round. It's, it's it's a marshmallowy melted kind of car. So it it is an art piece because the the big thing you should note is that there's no way to open those doors. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I mean that is not engine physically possible. I don't even know if this car has wheels. Oh, it does. I've seen um a side view of it and it has like it's a red variant. I should mention there's more than one of this version of the car. <laughs> Why? You know big <laughs> like, more like belongs in the trash and now we got the last car i sent him it i don't i don't know if anything can top the previous cars but this one this one's interesting this looks like uh, one of those uh, flip cars it's a flip car it goes the other way no okay so the idea is that um you basically turn a, a car you turn you take a wedge kind of shape like you know a door wedge and you put wheels on it, and the idea is that you can the car is basically touching the ground, and the 
you can literally flip another car by just driving into it. Oh, okay. <laughs> kind of like the what they tried to test in the Mythbusters. <laughs> uh, yeah. But that that car looks like like the middle part. It looks like it could play a video game on it. <laughs> It looks like a console to me, like well, a Pong console. Well, this is kind of like a McLaren F1 setup where it's got the three-seater. the three, the three -seater. I don't... Yeah, what is going on in the middle there? No, this is the, the center seat is the driver's seat. Oh. It's super oh. disorienting from what I hear. This is a weird car, dude. I, I, I send it to you without thinking. I just like, oh, Pyramid, good. <laughs> this, is pyramid, this is Pyramid Head's car. <laughs> Road trip to Silent Hill, drive this car. I, 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 the further and further we went, the less and less I could probably describe these cars. <laughs> I mean, I don't. It's not much. It, it, for me, it kind of looks like it's off center too. Yeah, that's the weird thing. Which I think is these just the optical illusion. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, illusion. Do you have any more cars? Uh, no, did I, I, I do not cars? at the moment. Let me see. Did anyone else send it? Send it or no? Not that I saw. Okay. Well, um, I got uh, I got two emails, and we could end it. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Okay. Well, if you if you have any questions you want to ask us, just send it to. <clears throat> oh. Uh. Um. Uh. <laughs> This is a website dot com. It's dot com. <laughs> Please don't email this podcast at gmail.com. And your email can sound like this. Keep me anonymous. <laughs> I'm getting a threat here. <laughs> How do you give CPR to a goldfish who's drowning after their tank caught on fire? Uh, who sent this? <laughs> How far can you launch a baby if you had the arm of a Hulk with just a single throw? How do I buy money? Is it legal to marry a firearm? That is all. Can you answer all four of these questions in one answer? Uh, can can you type them up for me? I'll see if I can come up with an answer. Type it out, yeah, just, man. Um, all right. Who sent this? I don't know who actually is the sender of this. this oh, hold on. Anonymous. I did a boo boo. There we go. No, I mean I do have their name, but I don't know who that is. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh. Get ready for typing. Fill, fill in space. You uh, give a commercial. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Um, I gotta, I gotta find a. Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever thought to yourself, man, I really want a bad car? Well, let me tell you. Yes. <laughs> we don't have any. But we have pictures of good cars. Here at the Please Don't Watch This Podcast podcast um, every Sunday uh, after we play a video game. It's pretty fantastic. We talk about cars. We talk okay, about Okay, you food. shut up. Wait, yeah. I typed them out. Okay. <laughs> oh, <cool. laughs> but that's it. That's the end of the commercial. Okay, so the question was, is, how do you give CPR to a goldfish who's drowning after the tank caught on fire? How far can you launch a baby if you had the arm of a Hulk? With just a single throw, how do I buy money? It, is it legal to marry a firearm? I have to answer all four of those questions in a single sentence. I mean, if you want, <laughs> it's just a suggestion since you like challenges. Uh, okay, well, okay, um, I can answer. I don't know if I can do all of them at once, but how to give your? Uh, how do you give CPR to a goldfish who's drowning after their tank caught on fire? Okay, so to answer this one, uh, first what you must do is you must uh, dip your head into a full sink full of water and inhale as much water as possible until you are full. And then you must take all the water that you have in, within yourself and spit onto the, the fish tank that is on fire. Uh, afterwards, you must grab a little bit more water and then spit it into the mouth of the goldfish, and that's how you do that. Uh, how far can you launch a baby if you had the arm of a Hulk with just a single throw? Uh, this is... Uh, debatable. Um, I don't, I don't want to get into this too much because everybody probably has a different opinion on how far the Hulk can probably throw most things. I mean, the Hulk can throw a tank probably like five and a half miles if he really tried. So throwing a baby, I mean, like, I don't even think the baby would really, I think the baby would just disintegrate. So I'm going to go with no. 
he can't throw the baby anything because it won't land. Um, how do you buy money? There's a few ways you can do this. You can either just go to a store and use your money to buy money. Um, you can use your uh, plastic device called a credit card. Uh, you just stick it in and I accept it as money to buy money. It's great. Um, yeah. And uh, is it legal to marry a firearm? Um, probably depends on which state. Is the audio messed up? Let me hear. <laughs> oh, maybe it maybe it died. Maybe you're fine. No, it doesn't sound weird. It just knows them. Mm. Um, let, let me answer these then. Uh, how do you give CPR to goldfish? Um, I, I have an interesting story that uh, I'll, I'll have to post eventually. In no, no relation to giving a CPR to goldfish. It, it's another fish story. I just th thought of it while I was talking. Um, you, you, you break its bones. Oh, God. <laughs> You know, um, when you give the Heimlich maneuver, um, you know you're actually doing it right if you break some of the. Yeah, ribs. we were talking I'm about not, that. Yeah, I'm not not no fooling. Um, how far can you lie if you had the arm of the Hulk with just a th single throw? Um, probably five yards. Five yard down. Uh, penalty. Uh, football. How do I buy money? Send bits to Carl and I. Oh, good. Is it legal to fire in a firearm uh, in Texas? And those are my answers. <laughs> Well, that answers that email. What you said? We had two emails this week. How much is your "Please don't sleep on this mattress" mattress variant? I can offer you a hug and a potato. Okay, now I know who sent this. <laughs> 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 Will that cover it? Hmm. No. Eight bucks. <laughs> Eight bucks for the mattress. Seven bucks. I'll find you a really good deal on a mattress. Let me tell you. Dude, there's a mattress um, <laughs> just outside. <laughs> I was going right to say, like, I'm sure I could find a mattress somewhere at the corner. Somewhere down the street. And then all you got to do is spray paint, you know, the, the name of the thing. And that's it, really. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Way to go, team. What? We answered emails. <laughs> Please send us what? more. We enjoy answering emails. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't mind more intensive questions, though, like, uh, you know, design philosophy something like that <laughs> you know how do you not, not like I, I, i'm fine with like how do you one two buckle your shoe you know i can answer that but i mean so, so, something a little more like ooh, i have to ooh. think about this you know <laughs> those would be nice too um but i'm not i'm not trying to critique the uh, the email segment i mean it's it's meant to be stupid too because <laughs> i mean most of the people who watch easily have access to ask us a question but yeah it's also nice to have a formal kind of a, you know, retrieval service. I think that'll end the podcast. Yeah, I, I'm I'm good here. Uh, uh, yeah. Some... So, uh, well, any Ed, anything you uh, what, what 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 am I doing this week? That's a good question. Okay, so Carl, uh, he might still do some Kingdom Hearts, maybe a new game. I'm gonna be gone Thursday. There's no stream Thursday. Wednesday is a uh, is a. Uh, flip coin a coin flip oh wait carl do you have a do you have to pull us again for your one up wednesday I, I was gonna do that and then i i i don't have it loaded up oh actually maybe okay. i do have let's see uh no that's 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 long stuff so no i do not have a, a ready to go oh. poll well then let's just ask what do you guys want for a one off wednesday do you have a list i don't want to get Oh, good. Uh, you know what? Actually, people had suggestions. Um, in oh, I said something. I don't remember what. Oh, people wanted me to do the the Winnie the Pooh home run derby game. Oh, that was me. <laughs> that was only me. I think <laughs> it was only you. Um, Title Tale is a horror game, though. Is the problem, and uh, I know that for example, Zorks wouldn't like that. It's five bucks though, and I don't. They do not own it, so. Right. Oh, it looks Playing new ground games. <laughs> um, is is the home run derby game on some? I don't know how to get it. I just know that it, it's prolific <laughs> and it's difficulty. All right. Well, I'll try to get the home run derby game working. If if not anything else. All right. Well, Zorg's votes for the uh, the home run. Okay. Um, and then uh, I don't know if we'll start a new game this week. I might just do Kingdom Hearts on Tuesday, honestly, and. 
kind of get myself a little bit more caught up with where I am with videos and stuff. I've right. still got a lot of backlogged stuff that needs to get kind of put up. Mm -hmm. So perhaps I'll do that this week and we'll have some short stream on Tuesday and whatnot. Um, for me, I will probably just do either Mario Paint or Game Dev Tycoon. Big and then if games. I'm if I, yeah, if I'm feeling good after Wednesday, uh, maybe on Thursday I'll do something. I don't I don't know if I'll do another Rune Factory for a bit, and I'll go back to it. Make some um, more so, so the, the, the only thing with Telltale, like you've already done Five Nights at Freddy's, but it is another jump scare game. Yeah, I I, I think it's I think it's funny. I think it's great, but I mean it's on the, it's another horror game i know that typically that doesn't um do well for the channel yeah um, I, I don't know it, for, for me it just it's not the greatest thing to stream but who knows everything seems pepsi man pepsi Ooh. man yeah pepsi man i have pepsi man actually i don't have, own <laughs> pepsi man y'all yeah, send it to you that's no, <laughs> it's not mine though um wait no it is mine <laughs> i thought i was borrowing it but i actually own it i think but uh too bad i don't know how to send it <laughs> <laughs> i mean but if you guys have any more requests for one off wednesday don't don't forget we have the uh we have the new five channels for uh weekly stream suggestions yes so that will be uh that if you want to use it there it is maybe next time carl will have a, a poll yeah i'll try to make sure i get a poll next time i just completely yeah. dropped the ball Oh, you know, I remember there's another horror game, kind of like Limbo, not like Limbo, but there was another spooky game you had on the list last time. I don't remember the list, though, unfortunately. Um. Oh, well, well, it's uh, time to come by. <laughs> <laughs> all right, people, that's that's going to do it for tonight or for this week's podcast. Uh, yes. uh, thank you all for joining us tonight. I hope you enjoyed tonight's stream. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow with Mario Monday, Monday Mario. Mario Monday. What are you doing? Wait, hold on. What are you doing on Mario Monday? You didn't even mention that. Uh, well, I'll probably be playing. Um, I'll probably continue on with Mario Party One, and uh, I don't know what else. Uh, maybe we'll play some Mario Kart. I kind of feel like playing that. Which one? I don't know. We'll find Ooh, out. The mystery. Yeah. Maybe we, because he suggested it earlier. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Anyways, thanks for dropping by. And uh, anything else you gotta say? What? Well, are you going to cut me off? <laughs> Carl, I'm not playing these games again. <laughs> 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 I don't have anything else to say. Thanks for, thanks uh, for having uh, me. Okay. I'll catch you guys next week. Yeah. Are, are we actually going to stilt the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> the, the ending is actually playing now. When I ask what you what my bear is, my mistake. Oh, and thanks for joining the, 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 the Discord, uh, Charles.